Origins of football in Africa Soccer or football is undeniably the most played sport in Africa. Although rugby and cricket are also quite popular in South Africa, football is undoubtedly the most popular sport throughout all of Africa. More than a century ago, colonial powers, including the British, Belgians, French, and Portuguese, brought football to Africa. It is hardly unexpected that European colonists spread football to their colonies because football is also the most popular sport in most of Europe. Although football can be a tremendously thrilling game, its accessibility also contributes to its popularity in Africa. Football is accessible because it can be played almost anywhere in Africa and by almost any healthy young person. Before we go straight into it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel to get more amazing content. Let's get into it. Due to European colonialism in Africa, football was initially brought to Africa in the early 1860s. There were no set game regulations when the first games were played in South Africa in 1862 between soldiers and civil servants. Initially, there were several ways to play the game, which had aspects of both rugby and soccer. The rules of association football were not defined until October 26, 1863. Peter Maritzburg County Football Association, the first recognized football association in Africa, was founded in 1880. Large corporations, businesses, and occasionally government agencies supported these groups most frequently. For instance, it was common for the police, army, and railroads to sponsor football teams that would play against each other and against teams supported by major corporations in larger cities. The top players were chosen from these clubs to represent their country at international competitions. Founding Clubs Before 1900, teams were being founded in South Africa, Egypt, and Algeria, as well as in South Africa. The oldest African football clubs still in operation are Savages FC, Peter Maritzburg, South Africa, and Jazeera SC. Both teams debuted in 1882. Alexandria SC followed in 1890. CDJ Oren from Algeria debuted in 1894. Central Africa started hosting football matches by the 1930s. The South African Football Association was established as the first national regulatory organization for the sport in 1882. SAFA. The first FIFA member in South Africa was the whites-only SAFA, which joined FIFA in 1910. Football in Africa saw a significant shift in the 1990s. The transfer of football to Europe was one significant development. In Europe, many gifted young athletes pursued lucrative careers and aimed for the top. In several African nations, club football increased once independence came in the 1960s. Some African nations were able to establish an entire league of football teams who played against one another over a protracted season to determine who was the league champion in that nation. The African Club Champions Cup is contested annually by the continent of Africa's national champion teams. Regarding varsity football teams in Africa, you might be curious. In nations like South Africa and Zimbabwe, varsity sports are very significant, but in many other African nations, Schools cannot afford to support varsity teams. Schools are unable to afford the necessary transportation, clothing, or sporting gear for inter-varsity competitions. Women's football. The sport of football was considered hyper-masculine in Africa, and the continent as a whole was not very welcoming to female participation. By 1960, there were numerous Nigerian cities that had women's football teams. In South Africa, Numerous attempts were made in the 1960s to form women's football clubs, but they all failed. The 1970s saw some development, with the establishment of new women's leagues in Nigeria and the spread of women's football to Senegal and other Western African nations. In 1974, a local Dakar club faced off against an Italian club. Five years later, the Dakar team faced off against a team from Guinea in an early game between African nations. Women's football in Africa was not supported until the 1990s by male-dominated organizations like governments, corporations, and football associations. By 1989, 28 clubs were playing women's football in Nigeria despite the government's lack of encouragement, and the country's national team participated 
in the 1991 Women's World Cup. Around this time, the South African Women's Football Association SAWFA, was established to oversee women's football, but racial integration would not occur for many more years. In the 1990s, more women started participating in football, especially in South Africa and Nigeria. Following two unofficial iterations of the competition in the 1990s, CAF created an official African Women's Championship in 1998. The host nation, Nigeria, triumphed, starting a run of five straight victories in the competition. The team advanced to the 1999 Women's World Cup quarterfinals the next year. FIFA World Cup African football teams and players have established themselves as top-tier international talent during the last few decades. More than 100 African footballers currently compete for top-tier professional soccer teams in Europe, South America, and the United States. A single guaranteed spot in the World Cup Finals was awarded to Africa starting in 1970. Based on the significant advancements made in African football, the continent of Africa received two qualifying spots in 1986, four in 1998, and five teams, Cameroon, Nigeria, Senegal, South Africa, and Tunisia, represented it in May 2002 at the World Cup event hosted by South Korea and Japan. Why do you go to a school in a city or a rural part of practically any African nation? You'll almost surely see kids playing football after school and during breaks. So there you have the story about the origin of African football. If you love this video, please make sure to like and drop a comment to let us know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you again soon.